So you have protesters in Colorado protesting against the lockdown, which is their right. And then you have counter-protesters protesting the protesters protesting the lockdown, which is their right. But then you also got protesters telling the protester protesting the protesters to go to China if you want communism. Stop. You're making your cause look bad. The thing is about this is that both sides are right. If we go off lockdown, yes, absolutely, more people are going to die. That's a given because more people are going to get infected. How many people? Pfft, who knows? Okay. But we can't remain on lockdown either. I mean, people are going to die that way. People's livelihoods are going to be devastated. It's going to devastate the nation. But even worse than all this is this right here. Sheriffs and cops and the Department of Health way overreaching their bounds, violating people's rights. The Department of Health should not be sharing, and we know now because they lost a court battle, the names and addresses of people infected with COVID. That's stupid. To what end? To what purpose? To what aid? It doesn't help. But then it propagates this whole abuse of power thing. You're saying you have COVID, you take down the fact that you, uh, the, your experience of having COVID off Instagram or you are going to be arrested. Okay. A teenager who shared coronavirus infection on Instagram threatened with arrest by police, lawsuit said. Uh, Wisconsin, what are you doing? In Wisconsin, a lawsuit was filed. And get this, one of the officers' name is Officer Clump. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Here, right down here. Patrol Sergeant. Cameron Clump can't make that name up Clump the Clumps and Sheriff Joseph Conrath yeah abuse of power basically this girl had gone to Florida it didn't say whether she was one of the spring breakers or not when she came back five days later she started showing symptoms of COVID her parents had tried to reach out to students and teachers to let them know that she was going to get tested but they just wanted them to be aware that seems like the responsible thing to do she went to the hospital the doctor said well you are testing negative right now but they said we do believe you had COVID-19, but that your window of actually testing positive has already passed. You are already uh, getting over it. Congratulations. you got the antibodies. You've got freedom of movement. Oh, wait. No, we're not there just yet. Okay. Uh, and then Officer Clump came to her door and told her that she needed to remove the Instagram post that she had put up there describing what her experience was or she was going to be arrested. What? What? Dude. No, First and Fourteenth Amendment say that we're allowed to share our experiences with that and we're allowed the freedom of speech to talk about that. I mean, no. Law enforcement cannot stop you from talking about it. According to the complaint, Clump, Officer Clump, arrived at the family's home on March 27th and told the teenager's parents he was going to start hauling her asses out to jail and that he had direct orders from Conrath to demand that she delete his po the post that she had created. And if she did not to cite the teen and or her parents for disorderly conduct, the complaint said. Clump said Conrath wanted the post deleted because no case of COVID-19 had been confirmed in the county at that time, the complaint said. So they were looking after their numbers. They didn't want the numbers. They didn't want the county to look bad. And so because of that, they're going to violate someone's rights. Yeah. The pandemic and the virus is not a free pass to violate people's rights. That's whether you're protesting they have a right to protest as well. Or sharing their experiences. They have a right to share their experiences as well. One thing that they do not have the right to do is the Department of Health does not have the right to share your address with police or your name with police. Police are not medical professionals. That's why I believe this is the main story. Police are not medical professionals. Why is the hospital sharing your medical information with police? That's stupid. One, they're saying it's to keep their first responders safe. It's going to do just the opposite because now you're creating an atmosphere where a regular 911 call is handled regularly and a COVID 911 call is handled differently. So what if someone is asymptomatic and they have COVID and it seems like a regular call because their name isn't on a stupid list? Or you're putting your people in more danger because now they're not taking the precautions that they should have. Two, someone's having a heart attack. Seconds matter. 
They call 911. It comes out they're a COVID patient. The cops relay that it's a COVID patient. So they sit out there for an additional 20 minutes putting on protective equipment. The guy's dead. Minutes matter, man. These are your lives at stake here. Your loved one's lives at stake here. Your freedoms. There's no way that a hospital should share that kind of information with the police. No way. Anyways, those are my thoughts and opinions. And I'd like your thoughts and your opinions. And I love you guys. You guys stay informed and I'll see you on the next one.